I would say four main broad challenges that we have. One of them is uh, around um, uh, physical planning and physical planning enforcement. And therefore, uh, you have issues to do with what we call um, undeveloped uh, or uncontrolled development. And uh, what that means is that uh, you have a lot of construction activity uh, going on in different areas, going on um, without a, a sense of enforcement. And by enforcement, we talk about planning permission approval, and we talk about uh, use of uh, um, uh, approved uh, building materials, and then we talk about construction being supervised by the right people with the right qualifications, and the works themselves being executed by people who, who have a good know-how. Uh, accessing affordable finance uh, by the market in general. Um, and uh, I've worked with commercial banks over the last 10, 15 years, and the cost of accessing long-term mortgage, mortgages for housing development has been quite, you know, unaffordable uh, for, the, for the bulk of uh, the population. The work ethics and the work ethos, if I can say that, that surround the people who are involved in, uh, in construction in general. Um, I wouldn't want to go into, uh, you know, uh, blame naming and things like that. But in general, you've got uh, a very low hands-on approach, skilling, training, and uh, availing the market easily to young men and women who have got the skills in the sector. The only problem is uh, vocational training is not attractive to the modern parent. The modern parent for a long time has been convinced that tertiary training for which a, a, a young man or, or lady earns a degree is what you'd call education. And therefore everyone is fighting to make sure that they pay uh, you know, uh, school fees for their children to go to uh, a theory-based learning environment and come up with a, a degree after three years. And that's an anomaly that we are trying to undo. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.